Hallo, ich bin Schwester Anna. Hallo, ich bin Anna. I'd like to introduce the most important features of the VisoCall IP system from Schrack Seconet. I'll show you the easiest way to operate the various devices that can help you in your daily work. You can watch the entire film or access individual chapters to see just the parts that are important for you. Um nur gezielt das für Sie Wichtige zu sehen. You'll find the staff terminal at the nurse's station. To activate the display, either lift the handset or swipe across the screen. With an incoming call, the display automatically switches to the call list and you can identify the type of call from the displayed symbol and text. To answer the call, lift the handset and press the displayed call. This lets you speak directly to the patient who's calling. If you're in a patient's room, accept the call by pressing the question key on the communications terminal and speak to the patient. Answering the call automatically resets it. You can end the call by pressing this symbol on the staff terminal or by pressing the question button a second time on the communications terminal. If you want to see the patient in person later, you can activate the reminder on the staff terminal or on the communications terminal in the room. To do so, just press one of the reminder buttons on the staff terminal or one of the presence buttons on the communications terminal. In both cases, the call is ended and the presence light flashes in the hallway outside the room from which the patient called. Now I'll show you the functions of the patient terminal. Patients can trigger a nurse call by pressing the red call button on top of the handset. As an alternative to the patient call, the service button can be used to order tea or coffee. Press this button to use the phone function. The TV can be turned on and off here. Programs are selected using the numerical keypad. The teletext function is accessed via this button. Likewise, the radio function is available at the push of a button. Program selection is performed using the numerical keypad. You can set the desired volume for the TV and radio sound with these buttons. You can listen by holding the patient terminal directly to your ear or by placing it in the cradle. In this case, the volume is increased. The socket on the bottom of the unit allows you to connect headphones for discrete listening. The room and reading lights can also be controlled with the patient terminal. Equally, the window blinds, if fitted, can also be operated via the handset. Patients can request your help from the sanitary room by operating the pull switch or call button. Once you've set your presence in the room, the toilet call in the sanitary room can be ended by pressing the associated cancel button. Next, I'm going to run through all the functions of the communications terminal. The presence buttons on the left side allow different staff members to set their presence. When a presence is set, all calls in the respective room are reset. The green button is used to set the presence of nursing staff, the yellow button for service employees and the blue button for doctors. The two call buttons on the right side can be used to initiate various calls. When a green presence is set, you can trigger an emergency call with the red button and a doctor call with the blue button. A heart alarm is triggered in two stages by setting a yellow presence and pressing the blue call button.
If no presence is set, pressing the red call button activates a room call. Having set your presence, you can see pending calls from other rooms on the display with the call type and call location. Depending on the call type, you'll hear a corresponding acoustic signal from the terminal. You can answer an incoming call from another room by pressing the question button. If no voice connection can be established to a calling station, you'll receive an audiovisual alert. This call can then only be cancelled directly at the caller's location. During the conversation, you can activate a reminder for the staff concerned by pressing the appropriate presence button. This will end the call. If you want to end the call without setting a reminder, press the question button. The buttons to the right of the display provide various functions, such as scrolling between several active calls, different radio functions, as well as display and volume settings. You can also make announcements using the communications terminal. Depending on which presence button is pressed on the terminal, the announcement can be heard wherever the same presence is set. Green for the nurses in other rooms. Blue for doctors. Green and blue simultaneously for staff announcements. The announcement begins when the question button is pressed and ends only when the button is released. If you don't first select a presence, the announcement will be broadcast in all rooms on your ward. If a patient terminal's connection cable is accidentally removed from a connection module, the disconnection is reported immediately for safety reasons. After reconnecting the cable, please wait until the red signal light on the patient terminal blinks. Then press this once to activate the device. The light goes out and the device is ready for use again. To intentionally deactivate a patient terminal, for example, if the bed is no longer occupied, press and hold the presence button for three seconds. If devices without a speech facility are in use at your workplace, Calls will be received on the staff terminal or communications terminal. You can see from which room the call was made and you'll be requested to proceed to this room because no voice connection can be established. To get a better overview, we'll now take a look at the most important functions of the staff terminal again. The user interface is divided into four main areas. The status bar, the tab bar with the list tabs, the list area and the functions area. Briefly pressing one of the four list tabs across the top opens the corresponding tab. The call list on the far left displays all current calls in order of priority. The most important current call is always at the top. Next to it is the tab for all rooms that currently have reminders. To the right is the tab for all rooms with set presences. The last tab displays various system messages. If you have selected one of the tabs, you can access the complete room list by pressing the tab again. You can take incoming calls by lifting the handset or swiping across the display and then pressing one of the incoming calls on the list. You can set a reminder by pressing one of the reminder buttons. Support can be requested by pressing one of the call buttons. To establish a voice connection to a patient, Open the room list by pressing one of the tabs twice. From the list, select the room by pressing the corresponding entry. Now you can call the corresponding patient terminal by selecting one of the listed beds. 
announcements can be made by lifting the handset or using the hands-free function. Four announcement options are available. You can start your announcement by pressing one of the announcement buttons and end it via the end call button. You can also set your presence on the staff terminal. After unlocking the display, you can set your presence by pressing the appropriate presence button. If you press the tab a second time, you'll see an overview of the whole ward. To make a telephone call, use the staff terminal's telephone function. To do this, press the telephone button in the functions area and dial the required number. To end the call, you can also use the end call button. The staff terminal offers some useful additional special functions. To manage the calls of a neighboring ward, activate the interconnection function by pressing the button and then select the desired ward from the list above. During the quiet night hours, you can activate the centralization function. This silences the optical and acoustic call displays in the rooms. Please confirm the centralization function after selecting it. If more information is available than can be displayed, swipe vertically on the display to see more information on the next page. To adjust the volume to your needs, press the volume function button. You can set different volumes for various functions by swiping. To listen to a radio program, press the radio button in the functions area and select the desired station from the list above. I hope you enjoy working with VisoCall IP. Thank you for your attention.